can you feel football in the air a little bit? Oh, yeah, football man. Under two weeks? Yeah, it's, uh, it's awesome. Um, you know, we got, uh, we got some recruiting assignments the last couple of days. I think that always sets it off for me, um, some recruiting assignments to uh, send some texts and wish some people good luck for the upcoming high school games. And I think that's always like, you know, going way back to growing up and everything. Friday Night Lights, nothing beats that. So that, that certainly is starting this week and, and gets you going. And then obviously, you know, we're a week and a half away. Where are you in settling on a starting kicker? Yeah, it's a battle right now. We got two guys that have kind of rose to the top. Um, Jacob Borchilla and Brock Taylor are battling right now. And uh, it's a great battle. I mean, it's, you know, it's like one of those, you know, when they talk about quarterbacks, if you don't have one, you don't have any, or if you have two, you don't have any um, kind of deal. But for kickers, I think it's a little bit different because they're making them all right now, which is great. Um, so we're just hoping that uh, one of them really takes the step forward in the next couple of days and, uh, and makes it clear. Um, but right now, I'd, I'd be ready to, to go into a game with both of them. Um, you know, they bring different attributes. You know, Brock's probably maybe got a slightly bigger leg um, less experience, and then Jacob's got the experience. So, you know, um, but that, that, it's usually easy to tell when you start charting them. And the next couple of days, someone's going to end up taking the spot. I thought I saw Brock hit one from 58 in the press box the other day. No, no rush, yeah. no, no nothing, no, not even guys on the line of scrimmage. It's hard to tell. Uh, is that kind of indicative of the, the type of range he's got? Yeah, he's he. I mean, he's got a chance to hit it from like far fifties. Um, certainly a big leg. You know, he got probably a little leg up, no pun intended, on uh, on uh, Borch um, in terms of leg strength. But you know, but Borch hit a fifty-two yarder, I believe, in uh, in a two-minute situation in practice the other day to win the game. Um, so he's got the ability to hit from fifty plus as well. So we're. We're happy with where we're at. And, you know, Will Ferris, didn't, you know, he kind of got passed up a little bit in place kicker, but he's doing an excellent job on kickoff. And I'm um, looking for him to kind of run with that role right now. How do you feel about the status of the tight end room right now? Yeah, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited about um, the development. I'll start with the young guys of Cam Johnson. Um, he's had a great camp. He's got a long way to go, but he's a like, super talented kid that has a really bright future um, and brings a lot of different uh, talents to our room than what we've had in the past. Um, and along those lines, Logan Kyle has had a great camp. I'm excited about his future with us at, in the tight end room and, and seeing him in, uh, in game action. Um, and then JB's been the steady, you know, elder guy in the room that's, uh, you know, he's acting like a captain, acting like a leader and uh, holding people accountable. And I'm, I'm just really proud of him.